Hello guys, what's going on? It's Lachlan here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pixelmon Mystery Dungeon series. That's right guys, back at the Pelipper office where we left off for our last episode, and uh, <laughs> this shiny Lucario is trying to do this parkour, and we're going to attempt it again. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just started pelting out with rain. It feels like I'm in Minecraft. It just sounds like the, the tin roof of like my house is just making that weird noise it does when you're under a house in Minecraft. I don't know if it's the same on the mic. But it just came out of nowhere. But anyway, welcome back. And uh, what we're going to do for today's episode is we're going to have a look at uh, the VIP area missions. Uh, I think we're going to actually start one of those off right now. So we have one that was actually applicable to us. That is the Thunder Plains uh, one. So we're going to go ahead and start that. But uh, of course, like always, guys, come and join and play Mystery Dungeons for yourself. Uh, it now has uh, the newest Pixelmon 3.4 on it, which uh, all links and that will be in the description. There's also a launcher that you guys can use, and I'm going to be using that hopefully for my next episode because it comes with a really cool resource pack, a little different than the one I'm using now. But uh, anyway, let's uh, have a look at this quest. Uh, I need seeds for my farm. Could you get me a seed? You need to collect one seed. <laughs> Do I have a seed? Oh, that'd be so sick if I had a seed. That's actually a very easy quest, and I'm really glad because that's easy rescue points that we need for our uh, our, our silver rank. How many points do we have? Uh, points me. We have 30 rescue points. We need 500. That's an easy mission for us, so we're going to hopefully do that. We're also going to stop off at the side quests over there. But first, let's do this. I really want to do this parkour, and uh, I attempted it before, and I actually did the whole thing, but I wanted to do it on camera. They have made any real adjustments. They've added one ladder, so you sort of get a checkpoint over there if you guys are good enough to get to it. Yes, I did it. Okay, awesome. Uh, and then, see, that's where you scrub. They added this ladder here, so you now have like sort of a mini checkpoint, which is really cool. Uh, so my strategy is get as far aside as you can, and then just sprint into it. It's actually not that difficult. All right, let's feed up again. All right, let's go. And easy. Easy game, easy MMR. For some reason, I've gotten so much better at parkour. I've done like a couple parkour episodes since I did the Don't Not S Do Not Stop Sprinting uh, one, which is a pretty funny video that I did yesterday. And uh, then I had a Missile Wars go up today, which honestly it was really funny doing that Missile Wars. And you guys would have seen my little intro because I had the face cam on for the first bit. But uh, <laughs> I didn't see that anyway. So the intro was sort of like. And I was just like, ah, whoops, it's on. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's get this easy jump. All right, this way. Now you can sort of jump straight into that ladder. And uh, that's the reward right there in Pelipper's Nest. But it's all blocked off by invisible blocks. So you need to try and get in uh, using the teleport at the top. And, oh, this guy's doing it with me. It's like a syndicate with me. Oh, let me turn that music off because we use our own music. It's actually quite loud. Uh... Wow, there's not many people doing this parkour, but of course someone's right where I'm up to. Alright, back around. This is the hard part. No, nope, easy. And this is the other hard part, getting around this. Oh, it's actually really easy. And <laughs> I think we're about to do this in almost one full attempt. We did it. Awesome. It's been, uh, it was actually pretty easy. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Um, that checkpoint, though, is definitely essential down there. That first part's probably the hardest part. But uh, let's go down to the prize, and we get ourselves one... Lucky egg. And, uh, oh, I was gonna say, how do I get out of this place? We'll just walk back out in front of the Pelipper's office. So now we have a lucky egg, which is gonna be so crucial in leveling up our Pokemon. Now, of course, there is no evolutions, but, uh, you know, it's just crucial to have high level Pokemon. Uh, it does, you know, mess up some moves that you can get at later stages of your Pokemon, but I mean, you might just have to hold them back. Um, because I think your Pokemon will be around level 60 by the time you actually get access to the, uh, the Crystal Cave. But, uh, anyway. Uh, let's, uh, have a look at some other side quests that we can do over here. So we've got one C that we need to grab. That's a given. Uh, what do we have over here? So let's go to the bulletin board. Let's go to the hub one side quests. Uh, click here to enter the board. Alright, so these are all hub one. Let's try and go for a really hard quest to get some nice points. Uh, the lower the letter, the higher it is. The highest one I can see is a C. Um, that's a D, E, D, there's another C. Okay, let's do the Cs. What's the C one? Alright. Uh, I need to get faster. I need a speed potion. Can you get me three sugar and three ne nether wards? It's actually not that hard. That's a really good quest. Okay, and then this one. Uh, okay, is it possible filling with some ink sacks? I need to dye some of my clothes. I need three ink sacks. Unfortunately, we don't have both of those. Three nether wards and three sugar. Yeah, we have to get bamboo. Right, what drops sugar? And what drops nether wards as well? That's interesting. All right, what was the last one? Uh, three ink sacks. Okay, um, let's just do those for now. Because they're not too hard. We'll go back to spawn because we don't have to walk all the way back. Uh, so we need one seed, three sugar, and three nether warts. And three 
Uh, what's this? Uh, chat. Oh, there's the new chat uh, info over there, guys. Uh, definitely something to look f uh, at. Oh, that guy's got a blaze again. Yeah, definitely something to look at if you are doing one of those strats where you want to try and uh, see the whole chat because you can just take yourself out of global chat and you know get all the dialogue, which is a new thing that got added today. Um, I saw the sandstorm TM. I don't know if we're gonna use that for anything though. Don't really need it for anything. All right, let's go in and uh, get one seed, which is very easy. What drop seed? Uh, Gloom Oddish. So where can we get a seed from? Uh, I think Tiny Woods had some Oddishes, but they were quite rare. Um, they should only be in Tiny Woods. So let's give Tiny Woods a look and see if we can find any. I don't know if we can. Um, what else drops seeds? Let's go to look anyway. Uh, let's go enter dungeon. Let's see if we can find any seed Pokemon. There's a lot of Pokemon out, though. Uh, Caterpies. Caterpies. Any Oddishes? Oh, there's one. Ah, uh, there, there's a couple of those glitched Pokemon. Okay, so they definitely do spawn here. Um, there's some Parises. Need to find a Oddish, though. Oh, seeds! Oh, there's just seeds lying on the ground. Awesome. I will take that. And you know what? Let's get some Bell Sprout Vines, because these things are actually worth quite a bit. Uh, more than you'd think so. So... Just grab some vines because they're only Pokemon that drop vines, and so they do sell for quite a decent amount. Oh, there's some more Oddish. There's another Oddish over here. There's so much more Pokemon on the server now, which is really, really cool and nice to see. Um, and also, guys, a new feature that's going to be added very, very soon. i um, very looking forward to it myself. Is uh, instead of having to throw your Pokeball at a Pokemon, uh, you can right-click and interact with Pokemon to battle them. That way, you don't have to try and aim your Pokeball because I know I, myself suck a lot at trying to find the Pokemon so uh, and, and actually aiming my Pokeball at them so that's just something to keep in mind uh, I think he's actually battling that Caterpie they've just taken years though um, all right so let's get out of it oh there's healers everywhere oh true because there's so many people on the first because this is the only room with a healer because uh, it's where you do the, your first quest you're sort of stuck there until you get your uh, your Caterpie string all right well that's that one done uh, let's try and go to the uh, place over here to try and get some uh, this, this one over here to get some ink sacks. Now, ink sacks means we need to kill tentacles. Um, I believe they're the only ones, I think, at this stage. And I believe they only spawn in this place over here. They are poison types, so they could technically spawn in tiny woods. No, they shouldn't be spawning in tiny woods. All right, let's see. Do we have any tentacles? Yeah. Oh, horsies. Horsies drop tentacles. Okay. T drop tentacles. <laughs> um, drop what we need. All right, so we have a... Uh, actually, NFT. What level are these guys? I hope they're not too big. Oh, there we go. Because I was wondering if Magnemite can get some XP on these guys with Thundershock. Because um, he got the Lucky Egg on. Oh, nice. One bang. Okay. Didn't get an Ink Sack out of that one. We do need, I believe, three Ink Sacks. So let's try and get as many as possible. Uh, wow, we got none. <laughs> uh, any other Ink Sackable Pokemon? Um, I think that was it. That is not good. There's no tentacles about. There's some Staryu's. There's a Barker in the water. <laughs> um, I think. Oh, there's a Marill. Huh. A Marill. I mean, we could probably try and just get some XP otherwise while we're waiting, but is that Marill? Probably. There's a couple of Pokemon that are glitched out, and we need to wait for resets for those to actually get reset. Because they're like, oh, Tentacle! Perfect. Alright, here we go. You're mine. Alright, please drop three Ink Sacks, because then I need to find another one. Oh, you got Sonic Boom. Nice. Alright, Thundershock, let's go. There's one, super effective, and another. Please don't poison us, though. Please. And drop a lot of ink sacks. Dropped one ink sack. Uh, it was one ink sack only, though, I believe. Uh, soon, very, very soon. Oh, there's a tentacle over here. Very soon, we'll be getting a, uh, a quest log, so you guys will know what, what your quests you have uh, to do, so don't worry about that. Thundershock, let's go. Two ink sacks, please. Two ink sacks would be really, really hype. That'd be sick. Come on. We need to unlock Thunder Wave or Magnemite. Another thing. Yes! Two Ink Sacks! Alrighty. There's two quests complete just then. Okay. Um, well, I guess then all we have left to do is... Huh. I don't actually know what we have left to do. We have the three Nether Warts and three Sugars. I don't know what drops sugar. I'm trying to think what drops sugar in this game. Um, hey, guys. What drops sugar... And Nether Wart. I might as well use the, the public chat just to get some info. I mean, that's the cool thing about it is that if you don't know what drops what, you can just ask the chat. Um, that's if they that's if they reply. If, if I get a reply. <laughs> um, they're not replying to me. Sugar is Cleffa. Okay, that's interesting. Cleffa. Did not know that. 
Um, alright, let's go to the Clefa. Paris is now the ward. Okay, alright. It Clefa and Wealth. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Alright. So we're going to go off to Cleffa first. I feel like that'll be the hardest one to get. Cleffa and Igloo buff. Uh, so we're going to go to the Crow's Nest um, to get this stuff. And then we're probably going to have to go to uh, the, back to Paris. I knew I should have killed Paris for something. All right, we'll just go into the normal dungeons. Wow, so many Pokemon here. All right, um, Pidgey Spearows. Any Cleffas? Houndor, that looks like he's got a lot of HP. Um, all right. Where are my Pokemans? Uh, Spiro, Yanma, Starly. No Cleffers or Iggly buffs to be seen at this point in time. They're so small as well. They're going to be hard. Oh, there's a there's a Chansey. That's close enough. Um, I'm trying to, you know, get all... They're so small. Is that an Execute? No. All right. Well, I'm going to get this meat anyway because um, I can sell it later, I think. Oh, no. You can actually eat those. Uh, Murkrow... Huh. Might have to check out the VIP dungeon. There's another Chansey here. Um, let's get a flame wall going on this guy. Oh, we need to we need to put you up, dude. Okay. Um, I think a cooldown is going to... Oh, there's a Cleffa. Okay, awesome. Uh, Alright, let's use this guy. Where do you think you're going, Cleffa? Come back here. I need you. No, stop. Oh, now we're battling Stully. We might lose that Cleffa. We might actually lose that Cleffa. We need three sugars as well. Where'd you go? There you are. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go for a flame charge. Hopefully get at least one sugar. Uh, no sugar. <laughs> oh, no. Someone asked me about how to Minecraft is. Uh, probably tomorrow. Um, just to answer his question. Yeah, probably won't have a... I spelled tomorrow wrong as well. I'm just trying to do it quickly. Yeah, probably won't have a how to Minecraft go up today as well. I'd like to do... I think two videos a day is a nice happy medium for me at the moment. Um, it's nothing too grindy. Uh, I do three videos a day on the weekends though because it's the weekend and everyone's, you know off school work or some people actually have work like I used to, well I, I definitely have work I guess this is technically work um all right what's in here what's in this cave what is that oh it's just someone's someone turned it out I was like what is that doing in here um so we still need three sugars spices and everything nices um wow where are these igly buffs at though I, I, like the other day I saw so many of them but now they're just so and the spear is tiny as well ah Okay, I think we might... Because there were so many Parises, I could easily get the Nether Warts, I think. It's just the Sugars. The Sugars are going to be the hard part. And Iglybuff and Cleffa, I think, are a rare spawn. Um, so Let me actually just try getting up here and see if there's any other Pokemon that sort of congregate up on these parts. Because I was here yesterday, but I never actually went up into any of, any of these places. So let me just... There's a Chansey. I might just take Chansey down for our eggs, because they're worth quite a lot. Alright. Uh... Pokemon's already in a battle with the Meowth. There's two Meowths. Hmm. I feel like everyone else might have just congregated over here. And, uh... Oh, and that's the other thing. All these, like, little... Little flowers. They look like Iggly Buffs. There's Chanties everywhere. Munchlaxes. More baby Pokemon. But no... Cleffers. Come on, dudes. Please. Meowth. I saw, like... I remember yesterday... When I was doing this for the eggs, I saw literally, not a word of a lie, like three or four Cleffers, uh, sorry, not Cleffers, Iggly Buffs, like stacked up. Uh, also, guys, Optifine is a good shout for just things like this. It really is. Um, let me see if there's anything up on that wall. There's nothing. I guess we might have to call this one quits. Oh, Iggly Buff! Jump on it! Oh, no, I think, I think someone else got it. No, no, no. I think someone else might have got it. Yep, someone got it. Damn it! Damn it, Kira MC just jumped on it way too quick. All right, I think, I I, I think every, I think I'm not the only one here looking for sugar right now. I think that's maybe why there's none because everyone else is hopping on them, uh, which makes sense. I mean, it's it's a pretty good quest to take down. You get a decent amount of points. I think you will walk away with like 30 points or something for this easy quest. Uh, the Nether Warts are very easy to get. Um, well, not very easy, but I saw tons of Paris Swablu. All right, I think we might have to give this quest a little bit of a miss. Um, which is a little unfortunate, but, uh, hey, oh, Ladybug, what do you want? We're getting decent XP as well, and that's the other thing. We need XP and levels to try and beat this boss anyway. I think I'm stuck on a Pokemon right now. Nope, we're good. All right, um, and that's the other thing. There is a glitch right now with the current Pixelmon where Pokemon appear invisible, whether that be wild Pokemon or, like, Pokemon, uh, that are just, like, statues around the map. They both become invisible, which is really, really weird. Like, you see that there? There was a little bit of uh, walking grass. But anyway, there, there's too many people hunting these down, so we'll just probably back off. And uh, let's actually go to spawn. 
Let's go all the way back to spawn. Uh, let's do a pokey heal here. Instead of using that other stuff. Let's go turn in our uh, ink sack quest and go pick up a couple other ones. Um, I think it would actually be pretty cool if we had like a quick warp to the Pelipper office because there's quite a walk to there. Oh, I actually want to go to the shop on the way and try to see if I can buy anything with my monies. I have no monies left. Actually, I'll probably sell my stuff at the, the other place because you get more for your money. Uh, look how much... I don't want to sell any of these items as well. We actually might be able to go through the quests and uh, complete a couple of the items we already have. Like one of them might be like, get 10 snowballs. I'll be like, sick, 10 snowballs. Here you go. Cash in the rescue points and off we go. Um, but uh, this is the po I love how Magnus is just outside the Pokemon jail. I'm just like, yep, this is my jail. Oh, God. Um, and that down there, actually, I haven't been down there yet in my episode series yet, but down there is the waterfall. People who played the first Mystery Dungeon will already know that, but uh, that's where you get, uh, you, you touch, you literally touch the stone and uh, it evolves any of your Pokemon uh, that can be evolved uh, one at a time, of course. And then there's a special place for your different types of Eevees, because obviously. That was, the, that was the hardest part about it. And, oh, that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Very, very cool feature that's coming in very, very soon. So I talked to you guys about uh, the way the um, the interaction to start fights is going to be happening very, very soon on the server. And I think that'll actually fix the problem with all those Pokemon being in battles that are not in battles. Those are a little noxious. I think we need to work on those as well. But, uh, actually, we're going to pay Pelipper's office first to cash this one in. But, uh, yeah, so with that being said... Um, there is going to be a feature soon, hopefully not too far away, far away, but, um, what's going to happen is, uh, every time you beat a Pokemon, there's a chance, uh, it's going to be based off the capture odds, that that Pokemon will want to join your team, and you'll get a yes or a no, sort of like it is a mystery dungeon, which is very, very awesome, so, let's cash that quest in, thanks, now I can finally farm, uh, you gain 10 rescue points and a Dawnstone, interesting, a Dawnstone and a Super Potion, interesting, very interesting. I wonder if that's meant to be a Dawnstone. I think it is. Which, I guess, is a nice item. I think I can sell that for quite a bit. Um, I can't really do the Sinister Woods one yet. Because uh, that's like the next one. So, leave those for now. But they change every week, guys. And vary on rewards. It's mainly meant to be for the rewards and not for the rescue points. But, uh, that Dawnstone can go for quite a bit, I think. For people trying to evolve. What does a Dawnstone even evolve these days? I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the uh, Hub 1 side quests, and let's cash in, uh, where is it? It's a C quest, Squirtle, Crow's Nest? What's Squirtle? Oh, is it possible to find me? In yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Complete quest, 60 rescue points. That is a very, very nice one, and we got paid a little bit as well. No item rewards for that one, though. Um, and then the other one, I think that's it. So let's just try and... Uh, see what else we have here. So it tells us what we need from each person, sort of. It gives us a very basic outline of, of where we need to go. Um, Alright, let's see if there's any for like snowballs or something. Yeah, what does Seal want? Uh, stomach growling. God, I need food. I wonder where I can get some fish. Collect three raw fish. Okay, what's this one? Haunted Hill. A girl's best friend, get me some diamonds. That's a cheeky one. That better be worth a bit. Because that's hard to get. You need to go for save life for that one. God, my tree has burnt down. I've lost my eggs. Ten eggs. I knew I should have started collecting eggs. All right. Bombarded with ghost types. Can you find me some glowstone dust? Ah, uh, we didn't get any more glowstone dust. That was a hard one in itself. Uh, we've already done that one. So you can click the sign as many times as you want to refresh your knowledge and what you need to get. Um, okay. Uh, eight snowballs. Yes, you can. And we got an easy ten rescue points and an ultra ball. Nice little reward there. And of course, the ultra balls will be like... Uh, removed uh, after, well, the balls themselves, Pokeballs will be removed when we get that feature. Uh, oh, Snowball, so you want Snowballs as well? Easily enough. All right, and he gave us a Reflect TM. He had less Snowballs to want. Everyone wants Snowballs. Uh, we got 20 Rescue Points, not bad at all. All right, Wogan Roller, what do you want? Oh, someone just battled me somehow. Um, ne one Nether Quartz. Huh, I don't know what drops Nether Quartz. All right, what do you want? Uh, collect a Far, Far Away, 10 Aluminum Ingnets. I don't know what drops out. There's something that drops out. I think it's like one of the Magnemites or something. Uh, Spirit Eggs, three. I'm just checking all these to see if we have any that we need. Yeah, we've already done that one. Um, Crow's Nest, get me some sugar. Ten sugar. That's a lot of sugar. But it is a D quest. I need a peaceful place to sleep at. Can you make me a bed, a bug bed for me? Uh, one leather and ten string. That is something I cannot offer. Actually, do I have fish? Oh, I have fish to offer that guy, by the way. Where was the fish one? Five eggs and five carrots. Jeez, what drops carrots? Um, could you find me some snow? I would like to ask for 16 snowballs. Yes, you can. 
All right. 20 rescue points. I don't think we got anything else for that. Um, where was the guy who wanted fish? Uh, there was someone over here who wanted fish. I can't remember who it was. Um, where was the fish? Nether quartz. Uh, terrible fever. I think it was the chilled hills, this one. Yeah, I want to get yeah, eight raw fish. There you go. Okay, mm, delicious fish. Ten rescue points. Okay. we Oh, and we got a sunstone for that one. Awesome. And a, and a bit of pokeballs as well. Um, all right. We are doing pretty well. How are we on points right now? Points me. 160 rescue points. Nothing too shabby at all. We really need to get that other C done desperately. We need those 60 points. Uh, let's see what else we have here, though. Uh, famous farmer for, here in Tiny Woods. Seems I cannot... Carrots! What drops carrots, guys? Uh, let me just ask these guys, because... Interestingly enough, I don't know what drops carrots in this. Uh, I need some fuel for my oven. Could you get me some blaze powder? I'm still working up that one for Cynical, so I wouldn't do it anyway. Um, Oddish, apparently people are saying. Hmm. Or oh, the Nidoran line. Nidoran and Oddish. Okay. Ah, oh, interesting. Alright, 10 iron ingots for that guy. Uh, we don't have any of that. Uh, 5 nether warts. We're going to need more nether warts than we already need. Uh, blaze rods. Don't know what drops blaze rods. There's something that drops it. Um, can you get me... Oh, yeah, true does look like a carrot blade. Uh, can you get me three sugar and three nether ones? Yeah, that's one we're hopefully going to work on as well. Lost my string. I don't really want to do the string one. There's a lot of string I'm going to need. Uh, blaze powder, five of them. Okay, I need iron. Two iron ingots. That's not too bad, actually. Just kill some magnemites and whatnot. Can you get me a carrot, please? There's another carrot one. There's a D quest here. What's this one for? Five apples. So that's Snorlax. I think Munchlax drops them as well. More carrots. One carrot, and to wrap it off, uh, Legendary Bolt Moltres. I need five of Blaze Powder. So Blaze Powder, Carrots, and String are a hot topic here. So probably going to try our best to uh, get some of those. There are some many, uh, a couple of quests we can get around on the place, but I think that'll do for the most part. I'd say let's just try and get... Uh, if there's anything... I didn't miss anything. No one asked for feathers, raw chicken... Oh, I just put our shoes back on, by the way. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we're pretty good. A lot of iron ingots as well could have been good. Um, that would have probably done well. Let's just try and get as many carrots as we can and nether warts from the first part. Because that, I'm almost tempted to go back and try and get eggs and sugar as well. Because those sugars are going to be so hype. Three sugars and we can get ourselves a sea quest down. We'll pretty much be almost there. And we might have to do a little bit off screen work. Um, and I might even stream it like I've always said I will. Uh, for just parts that are... You know, a little too repetitive. Uh, I, I like this, though, just going and gathering different materials. It's sort of like a nice little adventure quest. Um, <laughs> adventure quest. It's an adventure, and it's a quest. All right, let's go to the normal dungeon. I think the VIP dungeons are still being worked on. Uh, that's not my ponytail, is it? My ponytail has HP. Wait, my ponytail is... Wait, are you okay, ponytail? You're at 6 HP for a second there. It scared me. Okay, I think my ponytail is glitched. Uh... I throw him out, and he has 6 HP. Is that... That's an Iggly buff. Okay, it seems like someone else was just hunting them down before. Okay, now he's got full HP. All right, now we're good. All right, come on, sugar, please. Sugar, sugar, sugar. No sugar! Are you serious? Come on, what is this? No sugar? Oh, my God. All right, let's see what we got over here. Spearows. So, yeah, we want to try and kill the... Uh... Oh, apples as well. Apples was a D quest. So, let's try and get some of these. Apples are 20... Uh, sorry, D quest are 20 points, so... Oh, a potato and two apples. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Um, there is so much more Pokemon around now than there were last night. Yeah, let's try and get some Spearow eggs as well. They did request some of those. Uh, oh, we'll just get the Chanties. Chanties have a much higher drop rate of, uh, of eggs. And there are so many more Chanties that I had about. Murkrow. So many more Chanties. Uh, oh, that, po that Chanties already in battle. These Chanties, I think, are battling each other, which is a little disappointing because no one's going to get the drop out of that. Um, but the Clefer and Eagly buffs still being cheeky right now and uh, sort of being nowhere at once. All right, let's go for a Flame Wheel. All right, two Feather Hype Train. And uh, I think that Chansey over there is battleable. Pokemon already in battle. Maybe it's just a lot of Chanseys that can't be battled. I want to try and get to this Chansey up here, though. Oh, I think that guy's going for it as well. Come on. Must beat him to the Chansey. There's a Pidgey up here as well. Alright, and Chansey, let's go. Oh, you're kidding me! And my Pokeballs are showing up because I'm glitched. Yay, hype. Okay, so it looks like we have about 20 Chanseys on the field that can't be battled. Oh, no, don't kill each other, I need both your drops. Alright, I'll, I'll take on Spirit for now. Munchlax, kill Iglybuff, I need both your drops right now. Where that? Oh, there he is. Cheeky Spiro. 
Oh, wow. That came out of nowhere. Someone's got a Meowth. Oh, no, I think I'm glitched. No, I think I'm glitched. And Batyal. No, I think we are glitching here. Actually, guys, anyway, it's a good, uh, it's, a, it's a nice time to uh, call it quits on this episode. Anyway, um, definitely got some rescue point progress this episode. Very hyped to try and uh, get to the second hub. But I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this episode of Pixel Mystery Dungeons. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you tomorrow or the next day with a brand new episode of Pixel 1 Mystery Dungeons. See you guys then.